What's happening, what's happening, what's happening? Of course, you know it's your boy, b High Radio, shouting. Hey, man, as always, I got my sis stepping back off in the building, Ann Ray. What up, B? What's good with it, Ann Ray? What's up? How you feeling? I feel good. I mean, you over here got your world domination going on and everything else. You know, we were talking offline, and you hauled off and tried to convince me that uh, men love toxic women. Just because you're toxic doesn't mean that that's what men like. Wait a, wait a, wait a minute. Didn't say I was toxic. What I'm saying is that men do love. Okay, so I'm talking to a guy. Mm. He did something, but I was just like, well, just don't talk to me no more. He was like, you didn't try to block me. You didn't try to block me on social media. You didn't try to do none of this shit. You just stopped talking to me. Why do I got to be toxic, nigga? I said I don't want to talk to you no more. I don't want to play the game. Niggas love that game, they, that, that toxic shit. Like, look at these relationships. Okay, we can go all the way back to Left Eye. Yep. She burned a nigga whole house down. Nigga bailed her out. Baby, I love, love you. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Look at the Krishan, Uh, She and wrote her face. name in blood on the nigga wall. <laughs> like, niggas love that toxic shit no matter what they say. You hear these men like, okay, everyday men. Those are celebrities. But everyday men... Baby mama drama. Nigga, you can go down to the court and get some custody if you didn't really want to deal with it. But you really want to deal with that negative, toxic shit. Because people love something to talk about, too. Let's be clear. Like, hey man, baby mama tripping again. They like that shit secretly. I don't think men enjoy toxicity in a relationship. I they, think they, they enjoy peace. No, I don't think. Uh, the older they get, the older they get. Probably, but you was a toxic nigga to yourself. Nah, ain't that when I was young, I wasn't toxic. I still respected the love, the game of love. I was looking for somebody to love me. That don't mean that you don't want... A lot of people associate that with love, though. And that's the problem, especially I feel like this generation, that they associate true. toxic shit with love. Like, ooh, if you... Like the dude I just told you about, because I didn't block him and I didn't do all the extra shit, he, you never even cared. Nigga, what? <laughs> okay, answer me this, Aaron Ray. Uh, when was the time that you found yourself being toxic in a relationship? I've never been. Oh, please. <laughs> you come in here and be toxic with me. Like, and I ain't even in a relationship with you. The times I have found myself toxic. Hmm. I mean, probably almost every relationship up until my like adult years now, probably. Because, I mean, you young and you just doing whatever. Your but boyfriend doing whatever. What is a situation, though, that you can say that is a toxic situation that you think occurs in most relationships? Occurs? um, You know, the mama game or whatever. Like, I definitely called his mom and told him all kind of crazy stuff. like Or her all kind of crazy stuff. Like, this is what your son did. But she told me even more. She was like, because I was like, yeah, I ain't with him no more, da-da-da. Oh, uh, well, let me tell you. She told me stuff I didn't even know, so... I'm like, mm. you call that man's mama? Why you gonna call a man's mama and tell him on him? Yeah, cause she she had me fucked up. So I was just like, oh my your God. son ain't shit and you ain't shit. That's uh, that the is vibe toxic. I was on. That, that is the vibe I was on. But she she got me. She was like, you thought you weren't shit, but let me tell you, my son really ain't shit. Told me all kind of stuff. But then let me tell you, when I called him, cause I was so mad, I put. Well, I ain't gonna say I called him. I put up to nigga house like. Yeah. I was heated. Full blown toxic. Um, yeah. And I was like, yeah, your mama told me this. Da 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 da. Mm -hmm. I guess he didn't talk to his mama for a couple months. Um oh cause my she God. didn't think I was gonna go back and tell him because she thought I was done with the relationship. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm. Went back, told him everything. Well see, now I gotta pull a you on you because I mean you talking about men love toxicity, but it seems to me like women love the toxic stuff too. Okay, so Because if you don't give them some toxic behavior, then it's boring. He's born because he ain't toxic as hell. Hence why men treat women wrong because they feel like if they treat them right, they're not going to love them right. That, okay, and most so, men try to love on women. No, I, I definitely agree that most men do try to love on women always. Like, I will say that, but it's just, it's a toxic love. And I think that, okay, so every, every man that I know, young, old, whatever... There's that one woman from fucking middle school <laughs> that hurt him deeply down in his soul. And now he just, his quest in life is to ruin every bitch like that bitch ruined him. Because now let me tell you, every man I know has that one. Man, when I was younger, you know what I'm saying? She cheated on me, broke my heart. And because you got your little heart broken, now you want to break everybody's heart. Or you got the mentality of, I don't give a fuck. I'm just out here doing what I want to do. Or... 
they do it, so I'm gonna do it. So, or the come in, the come in with it, like get them before they get me type of mentality. You know what I'm saying? Before she cheats on me, I'm just gonna be cheating on her already. Oh my God! Maybe that brother needs to heal. And there's an ice box where his heart used to be, and he was looking for Aaron Ray to warm that ice box up so <laughs> no. he can love on you. So first off, the thing about it is, is that. Yes, he does need to heal. But instead of healing, uh, he like, fuck that. I'm about to just go and hear my fuck on and have me a ball, okay? And I, I understand that. A lot of people, men and women, probably need to get that out their systems before they actually get into a healthy, good, long-lasting relationship. Definitely yeah. get that and definitely agree. But a lot of men, unfortunately, mm -hmm. I know we was talking about this too, they don't have um, emotional experience. Because, you know, little boys, especially black men or men of color, are taught to be, you know, at young ages, manly men. Like, be That's a man. Right. You can't even cry. Like, toughen up, tighten up. You know what I'm saying? Wipe them tears off your face. So, a lot of them don't have the emotional experience. And that comes from, you know, youth and just society or whatever. So, when they do get in these relationships and they are maybe suffering from something or hurting from something, they don't express themselves in a way that somebody can maybe even try to, you know, be there for them. But they automatically want to feel like they heard. And then, as soon as they feel like you ain't hurt them, when they actually ain't even said shit for you to hear, now it's you a bitch that don't love nobody and they heartbroken or whatever so it's just like a lot of men do lack the emotional experience and when they get in situations to where they feel they need to like have that or express themselves they don't have the capacity to do it but still want to be heard okay you know have you seen an instagram post where they talk about the toxic love with the song in the back playing i think so you ain't seen that. That's just funny as hell. They always play a girl do some fucked up to somebody, a nigga do some fucked up to somebody. Of course, you like, thought it was funny because niggas like toxic shit. No, okay. they, no, no, okay. no. Okay, they, just, uh -huh. they just they say they, they did something like what you just said you yeah. did back mm -hmm. in the day, and then they play the song. Yeah. But my thing is, can we even have relationships between men and women without the toxicity in there? Or do you think black folks have just gotten into so much drama? That they just can't help themselves. They just got to come in broken. And then also, do you think that, uh, mm, do you think it's a woman's job to fix a man or a man's job to fix a woman? I think it's on the man and the woman to fix them damn selves. Like, Ooh. you cannot come into situations expecting somebody else to make you happy, to fix you, to do this. Inner peace, inner happiness is your own job because at the end of the day, people are going to fail you no matter how much you love them. You done told your mom in your dream. She like, baby, I don't know about that. Not because she don't love you, but because of she her don't know own. About it. She don't know better, but for her own struggles, her own things that she's went through, it is on us to fix and like make ourselves happy because people will never fully be able to make you happy. They're going to always fail you because that's human nature. Why do women drain men that help them? <laughs> what? Drain? Yes, drain. Yes, they drain, yes, they drain. Yes, they drain well, them. Well, wait, but you know what? That's again on you because you know what? We all need to take accountability on the fact of is that if you don't already gave a little bit, like, hey, baby, you need to work on this, go to therapy, da da da, whatever it is to like try to help that person, uh, but that person just needs, 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 needs. Nigga, at some point, you need to know when to stop. That's on you. You draining yourself. What if you in a relationship with them folks? Relationship with your mama, your daddy, your man, your woman. You need to know when to stop. It don't matter what the relationship is. If you so allow somebody to continue to take, 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 take. No, it's a, it's called boundaries. That's what it's called. I love you. No, you I, don't. You don't love me. No, I love no, you. No, you don't. But, okay, so you have a crackhead uncle. You going to continue to let that crackhead uncle come steal from your house every day? Like, I know this nigga is going to steal. Da, da, da. If you go in my bathroom, you going to do his crack in my bathroom. Coke on a uh, fucking counter. You going to lock that. You going to allow that to continue to happen. At some point, when, it, when does it become on you as well because you cannot continue to just give, give, give and get mad at the person for taking, taking, taking when they know that's what they coming to you for, relationship or not. My thing is that there's boundaries and everything, wife, your kids, all of that. Okay, what about the happy wife, happy life? Because a lot of women subscribe to that and yes. that kind of leads but down why, the road I was just talking that, about. Why is that draining though? If you get with a high maintenance woman, right? Let me ask you this. All women are high maintenance. Yes, but there there's levels to high maintenance or whatever. You know, there's some, okay, mm. We go with like the uh, love languages. There's uh -huh. like, you know, mine's is word of af affirmations. There's some that are um, quality time, physical touch, and then gift giving. Some mm. people love to get gifts. Mm. So if you have a woman 
like me that likes words of affirmation. I want to hear that you love me all the time. You have a woman that loves gifts. She wants to get gifts all the fucking time. You have a woman that wants to be touched. She's needy. You know what I'm saying? Learn your person's fucking love language and see if that's something that you're capable of giving as much as they need. I don't know how to read your love language. Go online and take the love language test, nigga. It's real easy. That's what I'm talking about. People <laughs> always want to find an excuse why they can't get to something. Learn that person. I ain't got time to be learning a whole new language. I can barely speak English in this motherfucker. Barely. 